Hello and welcome to Supervisor Tips and Tricks. There's no doubt about it, trying to work out rotation angles and axes for your key directions for variography can be confusing, especially as conventions change from package to package. Supervisor is a little different as it doesn't have a rotation convention as such. Rotation angles for a specific software package are determined from the strike, dip and plunge of the mineralization as set on the continuity fans prior to generating variograms. This video explains how the major, semi-major and minor axes are defined in Supervisor and how to get the correct rotation angle and axes to use in your mining software package. The strike of mineralization is defined on the horizontal continuity fan by the pink arrow. Once you have defined the strike, you can then generate the across strike continuity fan and define the dip direction of the mineralization. Finally, the plunge direction of the mineralization can be identified on the dip plane fan. The major direction, referred to as direction 1, is set from the dip plane fan and this in turn defines the other two directions. If you have no plunge, then the pink arrow should be set at either 0 or 90. If you set it at 0, then the major direction will be down dip. Conversely, if you set it at 90, then the major direction will be a long strike. So, just to recap, you define your strike on the horizontal continuity fan, your dip on the across strike fan, and the plunge on the dip plane fan. The three directions for variogram modelling are dependent on what you set the plunge at and the dip plane fan. Once you have defined the three directions, you can then generate the variograms and apply suitable models. Supervisor automatically inserts a default axis rotation, which can be changed by selecting the rotation item in the data tree and then selecting the required software package from the compatibility drop-down menu in the properties window. You can set a default rotation by selecting the Options tab and clicking on Axis Rotation under the Components section. Next, select the required software package from the Compatibility drop-down menu on the Properties window. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if you found this video useful by clicking like. For more information or to make suggestions for other tips and tricks videos, click on the link in the description below.